Hey YouTube, I'm Mars1952 and this video is about uh, quenching when you inject too much water and or methanol into your um, into your diesel truck. I have a snow performance uh, Tomax system that I put on a month or so ago and uh, according to the directions you start off on it with a small nozzle and work your way up to the bigger nozzles and I did that and no matter how big of a nozzle I put in, it didn't seem to make much difference. I couldn't get any quenching. Well, it turns out the screen in the tank was plugged right from the beginning, or partially plugged, so I was getting a limited flow. Um, and when I, when I cleaned that, the two 630 milliliter a minute, 10 gallon an hour uh, nozzles that I put in, for a total of 20 gallons an hour, were way too much, and I got quenching. So I decided to put that on film or video for you guys to see uh, because when I was installing this thing I really couldn't find any good advice anywhere. Um, so right now the very first thing you're going to see is some quenching that happens when I have the, both of the big nozzles in there. Then I gradually change the nozzles and adjust the gain on the controller. The snow performance controller that I have increases the methanol water injection based on turbo boost and it starts injecting 25% at 7 psi and works its way up from there at 50%, 75%, and 100%. So um, I varied the gain to give the less uh, injection in some of the trials. Okay, this should be an example of quenching. That was at low throttle, just enough to get the boost up to 7, and once it hit 7, it took off rapidly because of the excess methanol and water. I'll do it again here. relatively light th throttle. I'll do it again and I'll put the hammer down. So it made a clattery noise. I hope you can hear that. I didn't want to push it too far because I didn't want to blow stuff up. Okay, I had, uh, when I did the quenching thing, I had two 650 milliliters a minute or um, 10 gallon an hour nozzles. I took one of them, unhooked it while I stopped here to see what it does with just 650 milliliters a minute. <clears throat> All right, we'll try light throttle first. Up to seven. Okay, we're still getting some steaming even at 650 milliliters. Do it one more time. Once it gets up to 75%, it starts farting around. I'm going to do a full throttle. I turned left in front of me. Okay, it handles full throttle okay at that level. It just doesn't like that low throttle. Boost range low, gain 75%, nozzle 650 milliliters a minute. Once it 
gets up to 50% injection, it starts to fart around. I guess it's a smaller nozzle. Um, I've changed out the 10 gallon per hour nozzle and I put in a nozzle that's about 6 gallons per hour. It's the Snow Performance number 5 nozzle. Let's see how this one works. I've turned the gain back up to 100% and I'm still on low boost. nozzle's a little bit undersized. I might try to buy a nozzle that's in between 10 and 5, or 10 and 6. 8 gallon a minute would probably be about right. I don't want to run the methanol injection at uh, less than 100% gain because I don't want to reduce the pressure. Okay, uphill, light throttle. Quenching. 